In this lesson, we're going to be talking about addition. We'll be adding each of the three numbering systems, binary, octal, and hexadecimal. We'll start out with binary. The laws of binary arithmetic are very similar to, to basic decimal numbers, and uh, the, raw, the laws still apply for all arithmetic. The, so the four basic signs for, for binary addition are 0 plus 0 equals 0, just like regular math. 0 plus 1 equals, zero, um, equals 1. 1 plus 0 equals 1. And 1 plus 1 equals 2, right? And, but it's not a 2 in decimal, it's a 2 in binary. So let's look at how you would work this out. Let's say we're going to add the number 110 plus 111. Put a line here. So we've got 1 plus 0 equals a 1. 1 plus 1 is actually equal to a 2. Well, binary 2, remember, is a 1, 0. So it's a 0, carry a 1. And 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, binary 3, which is a 1, carry a 1. Bring the 1 down, and we have our number. So remember, they're adding up to regular numbers, but we're writing them in binary, not in decimal. Let's try another one. In this case, we've got 110, or 1110, and 1111. Let's add these up. So 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is a 2, which is 0, 1. 1 plus 1 and 1 is 1, carry a 1. And 1 plus 1 plus 1, again, is 3, 1, 1, and bring down your 1. Binaries are, are pretty straightforward. Just make sure you line them up just like you would a decimal number on the right-hand side and add them up just like that. Um, let's say, for example, we had um, 10110, and we only had four numbers at the bottom. Well, we're, you can add a zero underneath that one if you want to, just like you would in a decimal number. You could add a zero underneath the, the most significant digit. In this case, we're doing it for most significant bit. And then just add like you normally would. So that would be a 1. 1 and 1 is 0, carry a 1. 1 and 1 is 0, carry a 1. 1 and 1 is 0, carry a 1. And 1 plus 1 is 0, carry a 1, bring your 1 down. So that's your answer. So try these out on your own. Um, again, like the bottom one, you're just going to add a zero, leading zero to there. Try them out, pause the video, and uh, when you're ready to see the answers, just uh, play your video again. Okay, there's the answers, and you can see I just gave you the answers. I didn't work them out. Um, if you want to see them worked out, just uh, let me know, and I'll try to send some to you. But go back and, and knowing the answers, try to rework them again and, and see where you went wrong. Usually you can spot where you went wrong. Probably more than likely you didn't carry a 1 when you should have, or um, you added three 1s and did a 0 carry a 1 instead of a 1 carry a 1. Those are the most common errors. Okay, we're going to go on to, to octal numbers. Octal numbers are very similar to decimal numbers. The only problem is you don't have 8s and 9s in octal. So remember, if you get an answer of an 8 or a 9 in octal, you know you've got a problem. Um, it's a little harder to do as far as uh, figuring out what to carry and carry over, but um, it's not impossible. So let me just go show you how to do it, and then, uh, and then you see some examples. It'll be clearer to you. Okay, so we're going to add the numbers 426 in octal and 537. So the first thing we want to do is add these two numbers up. Well, 6 plus 7 is 13. Well, what you look for is if this number right here, the answer you get, if it is base or larger, you're going to subtract the base and carry a 1. Okay? So you add these two numbers up, write the number down. If that number is the base number, in other words, 8 or higher, we're going to subtract the base, carry a 1. Okay? So 13 minus 8 is 5. 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6, so that's not base or larger. That's not 8 or higher. So we're just going to bring the 6 down. Didn't carry anything since that was not base or higher. And then 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 is base or larger, 8 or higher. So we're going to subtract 8 and carry a 1 and bring the 1 down. So that's our answer, 1165. Now, believe it or not, this works with regular decimal numbers, the system of subtracting the base. Um, let's say you've got 87 base 10 and uh, 47 base 10. 
Okay, 7 plus 7 is, what would you normally do? You would say 14, which is 4, carry a 1. But let's go ahead and do it the way we have been doing it. 14, 14 is base, base 10, or larger, so we're going to subtract a base. So we've got 4, and any time you subtract a base, you carry a 1. 8 plus 1 plus 4, 13. 13 minus 10, since it's base or larger, right? And then that's going to be 3. Carry a 1, which is 1. So you see it works on regular decimal numbers too. We could have done binary the same way. Let me just show you an example of that as well. Let's see. Let's just do this one so I know I've got plenty of carries. Um, 1 plus, these are all addition of course. 1 plus 0 is 1, so we're just going to bring down the 1. Uh, 1 plus 1 is 2. Remember these are base 2 numbers, so it's base or larger. So subtract a 2, and you get a 0, carry a 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. 3 minus 2, is, since it's base or larger, is 1, carry a 1. 3 minus 2, since 3 is base or larger, equals 1, carry a 1. You've got a 1. So let's see, it works with binary too. It works with all these numbering systems. Just You really don't need it for, for decimal, of course. You know how to do those. And you really don't need it for binary because you can remember the, the three or four different ones they have there. But for octal and hexadecimal, it's really hard to kind of remember uh, all the different ones. So it's not just a matter of carrying it over. You have to subtract out the base and then carry a 1. Okay, let's work another one. So we've got 774 and 724, and these again are base 8 numbers, so they're octal numbers. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 is base or larger, so we need to subtract 8 from that, right? So you got 0, carry a 1. 7 plus 2 plus 1 is 10. 10 is base or larger, in other words it's 8 or larger. So subtract an 8, we're left with 2, carry a 1. 7 plus 7 plus 1 is 15. 15 is base or larger, so subtract an 8. 15 minus 8 is 7. And we're going to carry 1. The carry of the 1, remember, anytime we subtract the, eight, the base, we should carry a 1. And the 1 just comes down. So 1720 base 8. So the same theory holds true. We're just changing the numbers around. So I've got some practice for you. Pause the video, and when you're finished and you're ready to check your answers, just hit play. Okay, here's the answers, and you can see um, I just gave you the answers. And again, if you need them worked out, let me know. But try to go back and and look at the answers and try to figure out what you did wrong if you can. Like I said, usually it's just something somebody didn't subtract right, didn't add something right. It's it's something usually something small. So go back and double check your answers, and then if you still have problems, let me know. Okay, let's go on to hexadecimal numbers. Hexadecimal numbers, we're going to do the same thing. The deal with hexadecimal numbers is you have to convert those letter representation numbers over to their num numerical values, and then sometimes you have to, su to convert the numerical values back over to their letter equivalent. So that's where the hang-up is for hexadecimal. So let's do some examples together. If you want to read this, just pause it, uh, but I'm going to go on. So let's look at these numbers, and you can see the actual things we're adding up is 1AB and 7AB. Well, I've written it down, but I put it like the what the numerical equivalent for A and B are next to them, so it's just easier to add them up. And then we're going to add them, and then if the uh, answer is base or larger, we're going to subtract out the base, and then um, carry a 1. So let's just work it out. So B plus B, or 11 plus 11, is 22. 22 is definitely base or larger. In other words, it's big, bigger than the 16. So we've got 22 minus 16, which is 6. Carry a 1. Remember, we carry the 1 because we subtract it. Only carry 1 if you subtract the base. So now we have A plus A, or 10 plus 10 plus 1, which is 21. 21 is base or larger, so subtract your 16. You're left with 5. Carry a 1 because we subtracted. 7 plus 1 plus 1 is 9. 9 is not base or larger, so we're just going to bring the 9 down. And there is no final carry because that we didn't subtract here. So the answer is um, 956 base 16.
Okay, we'll go on to the next one. The next one we have 9C7 plus 4D7. And again, I converted the C and the D over to the numerical equivalent. We're going to do 7 plus 7, which is, sorry about that, which is 14. 14 is not larger than the base, but I'm going to leave myself room just in case we have to do it later. So 14 is what? It's an E, right? Okay. Didn't carry anything. 12 plus 13 is 25. 25 is base or larger, so subtract the 16. We're left with a 9. And then we need to carry a 1. And then 9 plus 1 plus 4 is 14. 14 is not base or larger, so bring that down and remember to convert it to an E because 14, don't leave it as 14 down here because your answer will be a lot different. Uh, the number E9E is, is vastly different than 14914 in base 16. It's a lot bigger number than, than what this is. So, so this is wrong. Don't do that. Make sure you convert it over to the numerical equivalent. That's probably one of the most common mistakes people make is, is doing that. Okay, here's some practice for you. Again, pause the video and come back when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, here's the answers form. And if you didn't get those answers, then go back and double check your math. Make sure you added correctly and then you subtracted bases when you needed to. Made sure you carried when you needed to and uh, rework them if you need to. Well, this is the end of adding and uh, the next one we'll look at is subtraction. So um, you can go on when you feel comfortable doing this one. You can uh, review it or if you feel comfortable you can go on and do the subtraction one.